Hey, let's talk about Math Workshop. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Reset EDU. This time around, I'm talking to a math teacher, Nikki Thomas from Sandberg Middle School in Elmhurst, which is where I currently work. We're gonna be talking about Math Workshop and how we can take the concepts of Math Workshop and make it work for you in your classroom. We're going to take the first half of design thinking steps, empathy, defining, and ideating, and we're going to work through those in this video. Then, to do something a little bit different, we're gonna leave that second part where you prototype, test, and reflect up to you and have you get back to us and see how they work out or don't work out. How are the students in class? So essentially, like, um, I'm an outsider coming to your classroom. How do, how do the students feel? How do they think? How do they act? Eighth graders, right? Yes. Okay. Um, in general, these are more highly motivated students than the average student, just because of the nature of it being an accelerated class. Because you're accelerated class. Okay. Yeah. Um, so usually, you want to have parents who are very supportive and have high expectations for their students. And the kids are more likely to have their homework done than you would maybe see in a, a class that's not as accelerated. Okay. Uh, this year is not, that's not quite as true. Okay. So there are more behavior concerns in the accelerated group than you might see on average. Okay. And um, most of the kids, at least for ge geometry, is challenging enough that for a lot of them, they realize pretty quickly that, that things go together. So if you aren't doing your homework, they very quickly figure out that they get behind on the content. Sounds like there's some things with, with behaviors and you know classroom management and student responsibility that be improved. Mm -hmm. So it's like we don't know if this would fix it. And I, I found that. That's why I try to go kind of back and forth between doing a workshop model mm -hmm. and doing more of a uh, like unilateral direction thing. Mm -hmm. um, because it does improve student behavior for the students who are having a harder time focus and are more disruptive. Okay. But that's not necessarily the majority of my class. Mm -hmm. And then the kids who are well behaved otherwise have expressed to me that they get frustrated when they can't just get through what they want to get through. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I, I understand that because that's how I feel too. If I'm given these four tasks to accomplish, I want to pick the, I want to pick one of them and get it done or at least get what I want to get done for that day before I move on. I don't want to be told, okay, stand up, move over here and do this. There aren't really as many like cute little games to play for 10th grade concepts. So there are a number of different ways that you can structure your stations when you're doing math workshop. You could change the number of stations per day or the number of students in your group. You can group them by different abilities. You can change up when you want to switch them up. You can choose to do a mini lesson followed by the rotation or just a straight series of station rotations. And I liked doing it because I had one group that was with me, mm -hmm. and sometimes I would group the kids kind of by ability, okay. not always. And so one of the stations that I would do with me sometimes was going over the quiz from the previous day or two days before mm -hmm. or whatever. And I felt like it gave the kids a smaller group to ask questions. Two stations where it's copy down the notes where I'd be like scanning my notes and the kids would copy them down. Now and then I found a tutorial video, but the kids don't really prefer that anyway. Um, and then they had practice problems that they start, so that would be like two of the stations, so you have mm -hmm. to do the amount of time to do, to write down the practice problem examples and then do the practice problems and check those. Mm -hmm. And then there'd be another station where the kids would like start working on the problem set. And that works especially well when it's like the first day that I'm handing out that longer term assignment mm -hmm. because then no one's done with it. They're all just starting it, that kind of thing. 
So okay. it helps to give them, you know, like, okay, you spend 10 minutes starting your true basic or okay. the problem set. Let's talk about station ideas. The most important station in any math workshop is the teacher-led station because it allows you to get to know your students and their abilities on a personal level and have students set individual goals. You can have a homework station and you can have your more advanced students even start there. You can have a game station and use things like dice and playing cards to kind of randomize numbers in a problem set. You can also take board games like Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, use those existing games and modify them by adding in cards with problems and skills for your math program. You can have a text station where you work on things like formulas in Google Sheets, Desmos, or an online math game like Free Rice. It's also important to have a station where students can write or speak so that they can explain their thought processes when working on math problems. And lastly, a review station for reteaching or going back over previously learned skills. Now it's your turn. I want you to take these ideas that we've come up with, make them your own, use them as is, add to them whatever you need to do, and try them out. Jump in, do something new, let us know how it works out. There's a zillion ways you can reach me. You can contact me on Twitter, you can contact me on Instagram, you can email me, jen at resetedu.org. You can go to the website, resetedu.org, and go to the contact page as well. Let us know how it works out. Be sure to subscribe to the Reset EDU channel for the latest project updates and episodes. If you're interested in a reset for your own classroom, be sure to fill out our form at bit.ly forward slash reset edu. Thank you for watching.